Hey there, Gemini, Sun Rising, and Venus, and welcome to your general reading for February 2023. I'll be taking a look at your past, present, future, as well as some other good stuff. Please keep in mind that this will not resonate with all of you, so you're more than welcome to check your other placements. All right, Gemini, let's go ahead and get started. Got to just hold spirit. What messages do you have for the sign of Gemini? Recent past, please. Recent past for the sign of Gemini. What happened in the recent past? For the sign of Gemini. All right. Okay. All right, Gemini. So the full card, the four of wands in reverse and the page of wands upright. A lot of fire energy here. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Some of you could have fire placements in your chart as well as maybe Virgo. So, Gemini, I feel like in the recent past, you took a risk here with the Fool card. Okay, only you know what that risk is. We're going to go ahead and clarify in a bit. For some of you, there could have been delays with buying a home, moving, traveling, or this could also talk about issues within the family, the home situation. Okay, and Page of Wands here. Yeah, I feel like a lot of newish energy here. Some of you are really looking into starting something new, maybe a new job, a new relationship, a new direction here in your life. It's a risk though. I feel like it's definitely a risk here. Some of you could have also started taking new courses, learning something new, a lot of new energy here. And with the Nine of Pentacles here under the under the deck, I feel that some of you here, you know, are single who are watching. It's like you're enjoying your singlehood, just enjoying your own company in a way here. Tell me about the full card, recent past for Gemini, please. Six of Pentacles. Yeah, working on your coins here. Some of you got tired of feeling breadcrumbed or tired of things being one-sided in a situation. This could also talk about maybe at your work environment, like not feeling content of you know, how much you're making, the recognition you're receiving. Tell me about the Four of Wands. Recent past for Gemini, please. Four of Wands. Why is it here? Ace of Swords. Yeah, a lot of you could have received clarity, especially maybe when it comes about um, when it comes to a twin flame. All right. For others, for others of you, this is clarity about a family situation. You could have received or heard some type of truth when it comes to a family member, maybe another air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, in your energy, this could be someone that you shared a home with, this could be someone within your family, it's like truths came out about this person, maybe you saw someone's true colors, it definitely caused a disruption in your environment, Yeah, I feel like this person's feeling regret or disappointment, or this could also be your energy of feeling regret or disappointment, maybe for giving something or someone multiple opportunities or chances. Tell me about the Page of Wands, recent past for Gemini, please. Can I just... Why is the Page of Wands here? Recent past for Gemini, please. Page of Cups. Yeah, a lot of new energy here. Some of you could be dating someone younger or interested in someone younger. Or again, this is you wanting to start something new in the past. Headed towards a new direction. Starting from zero for some of you. Some of you could have been dating more than one individual in the past, okay? Now, I will say that whoever this person is, whether it's in the family, a friend, co-worker, in the work situation, a lover, they're wanting to apologize or they could have apologized in the past, Feeling regret for something that they said to you maybe when they were, um, could have been very impulsively or very harsh, harsh energy. Let's go ahead and move on to your current energies, Gemini. Current energies for Gemini, please. I mean, just Holy Spirit, give me clear messages. What's going on right now with the sign of Gemini, please? Going on. The Knight of Swords. Tell me more. Current energies for Gemini. The Queen of Wands. Current energies. And the Six of Cups. Okay, I'm getting a few messages here. Some of you could be dealing with an Aries Leo Sagittarius or a Gemini Libra Aquarius. I feel like there's someone here rushing in to communicate, okay? And this person doesn't have to necessarily be that sign. They could have those placements in their chart. 
there could be embodying that energy here. Gemini, I feel like someone here is wanting to rush in and fix something with you or rush in and communicate to you. Someone here is finding you very attractive with the Queen of Wands. I feel like right now you're very focused on yourself, a lot of self-love energy. Maybe you're changing something with your appearance or this is just having some type of glow up. But there is nostalgia here, whether it's on your end or someone around your energy, specifically an Aries Leo Sagittarius. Someone you are married to is feeling nostalgic. This could be someone from your childhood or someone that's like very strong spiritual connection. Gemini, I will say that you could be feeling confused about something right now. A lot of confusion, maybe weighing the pros and cons of a situation or seeing what to do. Like, what do I do? What do I do? What's my next move? Like, that's the energy I'm picking up on. Again, someone feeling disappointment over an ending or not giving the proper closure, okay? Yeah. Someone who said very harsh things to you or maybe was not acting right is wanting to come forward here and rush in and communicate. Possibly apologize. Someone's missing you, Gemini. All right, tell me more. Current energies for Gemini, please. Kind of just, just working with your messages. Current energies. Page of Swords, yeah. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. Again, I feel like you're headed towards something new. While on the other end, I feel like someone's missing you. Someone wants a second chance with a judgment card. And, you know, cross watchers could be vice versa. Someone's wanting to reconcile. There will be communication coming in if there isn't already. Back and forth text messaging, communication, news from someone here. You could be receiving news about a specific person or someone at a distance. Or something about a distance. For some of you, it could also be about a legal situation. Child support, di um, divorce, marriage, something like that. Something involving court. Tell me more. What was this Queen of Wands here? But I feel like this Queen of Wands is you. Some of you could have fire in your chart. Um, again, I feel like you're looking very attractive right now because of some transformation you're going through. Or something you've been doing to your appearance. A glow up. Tell me more about this Queen of Wands. Different energies for the sign of Gemini, King of Wands. So now you have a true match here. Queen and King of Wands. The Temperance. Okay, so some of you could definitely be dealing with somebody who has Sagittarius in their chart or Aries, maybe a Leo, okay? Again, it could be any sign because you are getting a lot of elements here in your reading Gemini, but this is a true match. Someone around your energy is a true match here for you, Gemini. If not, be prepared to meet someone where there's a lot of compatibility. I will say that for very few of you, there is potential to heal a connection. The temperance talks about balance or healing. You know, so take whichever story resonates. Could be a new connection where things will be very balanced, very fair and equal. Or it could be a connection you're already dealing with where things could come into balance. You guys are a true match. This is a soulmate. You guys are very much compatible. And I feel like both of you are very attractive as well. You know, very attractive, very creative, very spontaneous, adventurous. All right. Could be very much be a soulmate. Okay, one more before I move on. Current energies for Gemini. Three of Swords. It could have been a third party situation here. You could have lost a lot of sleep or been losing a lot of sleep. There could have been deception here. Secrets that came out or that will be coming out, Gemini. Tell me more. What's Three of Swords about? What's this Three of Swords about? Someone is feeling heartbroken over you. Seven of Cups and confused. Not knowing what to do next. Whether it's you or someone around your energy, Gemini, someone doesn't know what to do next. There could be a third-party interference. Now, keep in mind, it does not have to be another man or another woman. Could be a mom, could be a dad, could be a brother, sister, a friend, coworker. Could be anything. Yeah, the situation has you feeling drained, burdened, but there is potential for a new beginning here, which is very interesting. I don't know. Will you accept this offer, Four of Cups? Okay. Yeah, that's what I'm seeing here. Go ahead and move on to your near future, Gemini. Near future for Gemini, please. One more shuffle. Ooh. Spirit is giving me a specific message for some of you. There's still hope in a situation. There's hope in a situation. 
doesn't have to be about love, guys. Keep in mind, this is a general reading. Also, please let me know in the comment box below if you would like for me to continue to do general readings, like, you know, career, finances, love, um, all that kind of stuff. Or if you would like for me just to stick to love readings, I would very much appreciate it. Your opinion matters, Gemini. All right, near future for Gemini, please. God, just Holy Spirit, what can they expect here? February 2023. Seven of Cups did want to come out in reverse, so I will say that maybe the confusion is going to finally um, fade or disappear, I guess, right? You are under the deck here, Gemini, the Lover's card. There's an important decision or choice you will have to make here in the near future. Tell me more. You will have the clarity, Spirit is saying. You will have the clarity. You will have the answer. Okay, the Strength card. Yeah, Leo energy. Tell me more. Oh, look at that. Nine of Wands and the Star card. Again, there's still hope in a situation or this is you remaining hopeful that things can improve, that there could be a specific change here when it comes to your life or, you know, whatever it may be here. I feel like you've been through a lot, Gemini, the Nine of Wands. Okay, some of you could have really been struggling with finances here, Ten of Pentacles. You know, losing a lot of sleep over this. Maybe some of you have been wanting to move or travel and there's been delays. Maybe you've been wanting to walk away from a situation for the longest time, but was lacking the clarity or lacking the resources to do so. But I feel like in the near future, you're gaining that strength to move forward, um, achieve or reach your dreams, going towards your dream, Spirit is saying. I feel like you're keeping your guard up high here. You're not allowing just anything or anyone interfere with your um, peace. All right, let's see your future for Gemini. The Hermit. Yeah, a lot of reflection here going on in your future. I see you really meditating, possibly becoming more spiritual, reflecting, taking some time for yourself. Virgo energy. Could be meeting a Virgo, Aquarius, Leo, Cancer. That's very significant. Some of you do have new love here, I will say. Or a new beginning. Okay, let's clarify this Ace of Cups before. Ace of Pentacles. So you have the Ace of Cups and the Ace of Pentacles here. Some of you will be receiving a new love and a new job and for others of you this is a new opportunity in love like if you're already in a relationship things have been wishy-washy things could be very much be improving here for you okay and for others of you this is a new opportunity coming your way tell me more about these aces i just holy spirit tell me more about these aces in the future for gemini Tell me more about these aces, please, for the sign of Gemini. Three of Wands. Yeah, I feel like you're waiting for your ships to come in. All right, again, you're gonna have to make a decision or choice when it comes about when it comes to a new job or a love situation. You're gonna have to make a decision here, and I really see you contemplating, reflecting. Uh, some of you are not looking back. Spirit is saying some of you may have a choice between three people, places, or things. I feel like some of you could be traveling here in the near future, meditating. Waiting for your ships to come in. Yeah, you're going through a huge transformation, Gemini. Scorpio energy here. Leaving the past behind, things that didn't work out. And working on your coins here. Working on your coins, saving up, um, you know, on your finances, all that kind of stuff. So overall, not too bad here, Gemini. This actually looks pretty good. There's two aces here, so that's fabulous. New opportunity in finances and career and also in love. Let's go ahead and see what spirit has for you. What message do you have for Gemini? That ain't just Holy Spirit. Give me a clear message here for Gemini for February 2023. Shout out to my sister for this new deck. I love it. All right. We have 38. Release expectations. Let's go ahead and see what this is all about. Gemini 38. Release expectations. People don't break your heart. They break your expectations. This moment is asking you to remain true to your vision and keep your hope alive while releasing all expectation. Holding anyone or anything, even your own dreams, accountable for your happiness is an exercise in heartache. If you'd like to experience peace and empowerment, do your life a favor and let events unfold in their own timing. Nothing tastes as good as freedom, and when we fully embrace our own and each other, 
we will remain in our power rather than in bondage to any particular outcome. Wow, Gemini, this is a very powerful message. Holy cow. Very powerful. So um, let's go ahead and take a look and see what angel number comes up here for you. Angel number for Gemini, please. Then angels, Holy Spirit. The number 30. All right. You are an original, innovative thinker and an excellent communicator. You have a great talent for using creativity to convey your ideas and your optimistic attitude has an uplifting effect on others. I agree. Definitely agree. You Geminis are really good with communication. <laughs> now, last but not least, let's go ahead and see what crystal comes out here for you. Got angels, Holy Spirit. What crystal could help a Gemini manifest this month? Crystal for Gemini, please. Okay, this is your crystal Gemini, the color may be significant, the number 15, direction and heart chakra. So feel free to look that up, see how it can help you manifest this month. But all right, Gemini, this was your general reading for February 2023. If it did not resonate, feel free to check your other placements. Thank you to all my loyal subscribers who continue to love and support my channel. And if you haven't already, please like, comment, share, subscribe. Hit that notification bell, and I'll talk to you very soon. Bye-bye.